lot of people spend a small fortune on audio gear only to arrive at a room that sounds lackluster. It doesn't matter how much money you pour into audio equipment, if your room isn't set up and treated correctly, you're not going to get the sound you're looking for. If you have a dedicated room, then you can engineer and treat your room around your sound system for a great quality experience. But even if you're in a room that has to serve multiple purposes, there's a lot of little tricks and treatments you can do to get a great quality sound. If you have a choice of room, you want to avoid rooms with outcrops, open closets, or chimneys. These are areas where reverberations can build up and are very hard to treat. Also, windows are highly reflective, but make it hard to treat since you can't nail things into them. You also want to avoid rooms that are too small or have low ceilings. Where you place your speakers and your listening position are going to affect where you need to put your treatment, so keep that in mind when planning and choosing your room. You want your sound system to produce a wide, deep, and detailed soundscape with good bass response. We recommend you start with an equilateral triangle. So that means that the distance between the speakers and the distance between each individual speaker and the listening position are the same. Start with your speakers up against that front wall as close as possible. If that's not viable, kick them out about three or four feet away from that front wall. Symmetry is gonna be very clutch though. Make sure that your front two stereo speakers or your front three speakers, if it's a surround sound system, are the same distance from your listening position or the sound waves are going to arrive at different times and cause a whole myriad of bad effects. Also, make sure your speakers are the same distance away from the respective sidewalls. The first reflections could arrive at different times, causing stereo smearing and tilt the stereo image towards the closer wall. We recommend towing your speakers or rotating them in so they face directly towards your listening position. Though some people find that if you tow them out, this can help alleviate the problems in smaller rooms. You may want to try playing around with the relative distance of your speakers to the listening position. If you make your speakers further apart than they are to the listening position, then you're going to get a more distinct stereo image where panned elements pop out more, but you can lose some of the coherence in that center channel. If you bring them in together, you're going to get a more unified, homogeneous sound. You want to keep your listening position out of bass knolls, like the center of the room, and you want to keep your listening position away from the back wall if possible, because that's where bass tends to build up. Dealing with subwoofers can be a bit more tricky, but if you're only setting up one, there's a neat trick to find the optimal location. Place the subwoofer in your listening position and play a consistent bass tone. Move your head around the room into different viable locations where you might want to set it up, and when you find one that sounds good, place the subwoofer there. We recommend treating your front corners with bass traps. Also, you want to make sure you treat your first reflection points on your walls and ceilings. We have a handy video showing you how to find and treat those first reflections if you need a more detailed explanation. If for whatever reason your corners are unavailable for treatment, you can also run bass traps along your top and bottom corners. These are the ones that go along your ceilings and floors. Some people do this in addition to the normal bass traps. The more bass traps you add, the flatter the bass response is your back wall treatments are going to depend very much on how close your listening position is to that back wall. The closer you are to it, the more energy is going to be in those reflections and the quicker they're going to hit your ears. Thick bass traps, particularly in the corners, are going to help a lot here. Some people like to use diffusion on the back wall, but if you're too close to the back wall, diffusion probably isn't the best answer. How you set up your high fidelity room has a lot to do with your own personal preference. Start with these guidelines and adjust things until you find what sounds best for you. As always, our designers are here to help you through every step of the process, and we can help guide you to an optimal sound with a budget that fits within your needs. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.